sa papi. With your denim jacket. One leg in. <laughs> Other leg in. <laughs> so cute. Look at that. So trendy. Look at that. So cute. Oh, got a kiss from Papa. Have a good walk, guys. It's too early for Mama to go walk with you guys. <laughs> Mama's lazy in the morning. Don't shake your head. I'll walk with you guys this weekend. How about that? Peace out. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Monday and welcome to another vlog. This week, going back to the vlog, I'm going to be doing switching on and off between a fashion post and a vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to see more of the fashion videos versus the vlogs or whatnot, I love to get your opinion as well. This week, it is the first official week of April. We, I can't believe we are now already in April and the weather is warming up a lot in LA which I'm very excited about because we can enjoy the summertime with things slowly opening back up in LA with everybody getting vaccinated I'm hoping we're gonna have a little bit more eventful summer than 2020 <laughs> anyhow today is Monday it's gonna be a work day but before I get into my work I'm gonna do a target run and gonna get some of the stuff that I need right now other than that we'll take it day by day and I hope you enjoy this video <laughs> I want to buy a new towel. Yeah, no, I actually, I was thinking of uh, getting new uh, bath mats too, like for the stepping. Hi. My name is... Chuka Chuka. Dizoski. Hi kids, y'all know Primus. Wanna see me stick nine inch nails inside one of my eyelids? Back. Yeah, my legs are like, I don't know, it just feels like it's falling backwards a lot. What about that one? Does it feel comfortable? We'll think about it. Got back from Target. Taj, eh? Got our new little... These are cute for spring. Need a new bath mats, just white ones. Quick, quick. This I wanted to see. New lotion bar. It's supposed to be organic. This bring on some little Oh, I got the mini one just to try it out, so it's not the big one. So tiny. So this is the lotion bar. Again, zero plastic. You're supposed to just warm it in your hands and just apply. I'm gonna try this and let you guys know how it is. Also, a quick update. I added some new decor pieces from CB2. So waiting on some items because they're back ordered, so it's not fully done yet. I'm just updating my media console decor and my coffee table decor. First item is this guy. It came a lot bigger than I expected, but it's very cute. It is very heavy. I joke I can use it as a weapon. And then we have this little display. I wanted to add more shapes and texture to this area. So we have this and underneath it is a ceramic box, which I keep some of my kitties uh, ornaments for Christmas 
inside safely so when Christmas they're here with us all the time and when Christmas it's ready to go. Then we have this came in a set of two. It's kind of elevated like candle stand but I only put one candle and I decided to put my dried flower from um, preserved rose from Holy Chic on it. I thought it was really cute kind of like layer it up and yeah so right now but I've only gotten these four items uh, I'm still waiting on some other items and when they come I'll update you as I go <laughs> Going. Too close. Where are we going? To get, get jelly bean. Jelly bean get nasty. Hey jelly bean. We're gonna go. Did you tie her in? Okay. You're okay, Ben Jelly Bean. <laughs> she's always like Jelly Bean got her nails done and I got some stuff from Whole Foods. I got a Belgian waffle. Another sweets. I'm gonna this is my first time trying their Napoleon cake. And for lunch. And also to go along with it, I'm trying for the first time as well the wild salmon chowder. And then last but not least, I went there to get this. This is the iron, liquid iron, and it's a really good supplement for a woman because, you know, we bleed every month, unfortunately. <laughs> I noticed when I take this supplement before and after my period, I don't get as bad of a migraine and stuff. So because a lot of times they say like you get a migraine during that time because you're, you're deficient in iron and I've been taking this consistently and it's helped a lot along with magnesium and B12, B2, and vitamin D. If you look at a multivitamin for women, those are usually the vitamins and supplement that they have in the multivitamin. But the dosages are so small, it's really not doing anything for me. So I'm literally taking these supplements separately to get the right dosage. I got new swimwear because it's summer. So I wanted to get an update. This is Triangle, their pouch. I got their, what is this? The Zebra Punch set. These are the bottoms. There's a little stripe texture on the white part and then for the top pretty standard top and it's cute has a clasp in the back cute Now Wednesday, today I'm heading back to Kind Body for my fertility exam to see, you know, where my body is at when it comes to babies and eggs and all that fun stuff. And this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so it'll be interesting. I think they'll use ultrasound to kind of check 
the follicles. I'm not even sure if I'm using the right terms, but I don't know if you've watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but I think like Chloe and Kim did a similar test where they use the ultrasound and kind of look over your area and see what's going on. Anyway, we will see what happens and then we'll go from there. And today's outfit, dressed up a little bit, but still fairly casual, got the jeans. Have this little cami, it's from Zara. The blazer's from Zara too, but it's an older season, so I'll link similar styles below. My Topshop jeans for my bag, I'm using this guy. And for shoes, also Chanel, it's my mules. So when I say dress up, it's just because I have heels on. The doctor's visit, the consultation was much longer than I expected, but I really appreciate it because they were so thorough and explained a lot of things that I don't think I was able to get through a regular gynecologist. For my ladies out there, if you have never been to a fertility focused clinic or you know the office it is worth going because i feel like you just get so much more information and i'm so glad that i went to them and especially right now when i feel like i really needed it and they even gave me like a little <laughs> a little chart and then talked about all my options and then they also got my blood work so they can send it in to check a bunch of other stuff in terms of my hormone levels, all that, etc. And again, the place I went to is called Kind Body. I wish I had known a little bit more at a younger age and didn't wait till this late because at this point, my options obviously is very narrowed and I kind of need to make a decision within this year or two years. If you are in your 20s, I think it is something to consider early. I wish I had and I wish the technology was there for me to consider earlier. I don't think it was there before and that's why it's so important these days and I'm so appreciative of the options that's now available to women. Obviously, depending on the city you're in, unfortunately, and, and LA, again, is definitely a very forward-thinking city and we have a lot of options and if you do have the options use it go get the info that you need don't see it as a chore i think in the long run it will help you more than harm you <laughs> again the one that i went to is kind body they have several locations they just opened one in atlanta which is amazing i think and then i think they're opening up in uh, up north soon too and I believe today they told me they're planning to open one up in OC as well. And done! And on another note, I got some new clothes from House of CB and let's try them on. I bought three corset tops. It's my first time shopping corsets from them. So let's see how the fit goes. Okay, shifting over here because the lighting here is better. This is the first top. I kept the tags on just in case I need to return it. I don't know. It The corset itself, there's a lot of the binding and all that stuff so it does hold but I don't know why they didn't make the strap adjustable it is so long and the other thing is it is ruched here so I don't know if you can see there's like some layers of fabric underneath and no matter how I fix it it won't go away and the only way to make it go away is kind of like then your inside fabric is like flipping out a little bit more. So I don't know about this one. I might return it. It's so cute if it didn't go that route. Oh well, but it's so cute. It could have been so cute. Next one is this one. It's an off 
shoulder kind of strapless style the fabric is this beautiful gold fabric is actually on sale this one and I really like it it fits well it has a lot of support it even has a constructed bra inside so it's giving it that push and it's giving it that hold this is just basically kind of a accessory I think when you I wear it with jeans you can kind of cover that bottom part and just tuck it in like that and the back is like like this oh this one's cute okay this one's a good fit all right last but not least this is also a strapless one but it has this little like pointy at the end it's a lace fabric and that's why and this one's also on sale which i'm surprised by because I, I think it's so cute and it's actually fitting really well i did have to put on a sticky bra underneath for it because this one doesn't have the constructed bra it just has the corset support but other than that it's really cute I love it. And this one's actually the most comfortable one out of the three because I think the lace itself is very stretchy and it's more giving. So it's actually really comfortable. I think this is a keep for me. So I'm only returning that one, which is the one that wasn't on sale. So yay on me. Okay, currently we're now in my office because I'm trying to get on Nordstrom's right now. There's this pair of shoes I've been trying to find and it seems like Nordstrom's has it and I want to use Nordstrom's because their return service is the best. Okay, so it's these ones and they have one pair of 37 left. So I am getting this and checking out. All right, it is bought now. It says it will arrive on next Tuesday, we will see. Another package, I guess today is package day. So these are these novelty candles that I bought. Oh my god, popping up the Instagram. Alright, let's see. I'm excited. They're, they're fancy. So the first one is this guy. And then the next one, it has this here comes with a little card the shipping did take a little bit longer but i think since it's a small boutique it's understandable <gasps> it's so pretty oh my god look at this this looks like the lalique my my parents have it's so pretty. Okay, so this is the one I made it harder. There we go. And this is this guy. This is a Greek column and it's so gorgeous. The two that I got, I thought this was going to be bigger than this guy, but I guess it's the other way around. Cool. Added over here, kind of goes with the whole. Good morning. It is now Sunday and I spent Saturday for the most part just chilling in the afternoon and watching some TV with my husband and all that. And of course, can't end the week without a good class of pole and dancing. So I'm getting ready. I got ready actually. <laughs> I got ready and we're gonna head over to my class. Ah, I need to get stuff from the back. Don't drive off. Finally on green or fast, finally be riding on my way. Finally woke up with some luck in the buck. I don't give up with someone so I say. Finally got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moon, stay in the moon.
since December Ripped your heart, got a brand new one Since you got lost in November See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn